A special thanks to my patrons. Making videos is a lot of time and effort, so if you like what I do, please become a patron. You probably won't get anything for doing so, but it helps me out a lot. Thank you. The Necromancer's Tale is an extremely detailed, story-driven RPG which narrates the noble's path down the rotten road of necromancy. It's not released yet, but you can play the demo on Steam, and that's what the footage in this video is from. You start out by hearing a little bit of the world's history, before beginning to answer questions that shape your character's gender and starting attributes. It is a quiz reminiscent of the character creation quiz in Daggerfall or Mountain Blade, albeit far more detailed. Once the quiz is over, it seems you're able to tweak the attributes too, if you don't like the result that comes from your questions. After your character is created and backstory established, the tale continues by describing how you receive a summons to attend your father's funeral. You arrive at your house only to discover that the funeral was moved forward and already concluded before your arrival. You also discover that the circumstances of your father's death are fishy. There's all kinds of clues that suggest he was in some kind of financial trouble, that his death has been staged, and that his funeral was rushed to destroy evidence and prevent investigation. More regarding the story cannot really be said because it'll spoil too much in my opinion. But that is why this is just a brief little video on it to raise awareness of a great game. I do not yet know what the necromancy in this game is like, or how many minions you can have, or anything like that. But I have been enjoying the demo, and I know some of you in my audience will too. I'd like to do another video on this game after it releases, and after I've been able to play it in its entirety, so that the other questions can be answered. If we take a look at their Steam store page, we can see a little bit of can the I combat and minions. Lord? It looks like the player is controlling three minions in the little snippet. This is an indication that the necromancy will be good. I expect this game to implement necromancy in a really immersive way. I'm not scoring the game yet because I will do that after it releases and I've been able to play it properly. But I asked the developer to score the game based on my criteria and the answers are as follows. Plentiful minions. The total amount of minions is currently unconfirmed, but likely to be over 20. Useful minions. They're said to be weaker than the player, which is expected but not by much. Your in-game choices of career, etc. Have an influence on this. Permanent minions? All minions are permanent, but some specialized ones may have limited uses. Minion diversity? The minion types are skeleton, zombie, wraith, flesh golem, lesser demon, and greater demon. Craftable minions? No. Minions are created via a ritual which requires ingredients, requires corpses, yes. This includes the corpses of some key NPCs, which should be fun. Thanks for watching. I've got more videos on necromancy stuff coming soon.